What's going on Guardians, it's Tizzle here. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to loadout swap. So real quickly, before you rally, you want to put on triple reserves. This is gonna give you more ammo for the mission, so long as you don't die. But again, this is kind of for like uh, solo flawless dungeons and stuff. So if you die, you're kind of screwed anyways. So once you do that, you can swap back and you still have all your ammo. So then um, I just have two pre-selects. So this is my getting to boss uh, loadout. So you could put things on like different uh, mods on your weapons and stuff too if you want. So I could have even put on backup mag for my getting to DPS, but that doesn't really matter. So I've got strand scavenger and then I've got powerful attraction and you need something that can hold armor charges. So I go with healthy finisher because it only consumes one stack of armor charge. So if I had to use a stack, it's not gonna be the end of the world. So then, uh, before we go to damage, I'm gonna swap to this, and you can see on the boots, I have triple strand surge and two time dilations. So I'm gonna get 54 seconds of, uh, hold on, I'm just telling these guys, asking if they're ready. I'm doing this one live, so. Um, yeah, what we're gonna do, I've got Arc Siphon on my helmet, and then I've got Risk Runner for this boss room. Okay, so they're ready. So yeah, I've got Risk Runner, so that's gonna allow me to make orbs with the Arc Siphon, and then my goal is to get three orbs. So I'm gonna kill a couple Scions here. some more ads. Unfortunately, not seeing many. Oh, there's one. There, made another orb so you can see I'm holding my charges. And we're gonna be able to hold these until the boss damage phase here. So he's dunking. So now we're gonna head to the middle and we're going down. And as you go down, this is when you load out swap. And now you can see strand surge boost or whatever. So we're gonna throw a nade, hit that, hit that, swap to our GL, pop that. And now we're doing extra damage. We got radiant from heart of the flame or whatever it's called. And yeah, you can see we're just chunking the hell out of them. So now here you can actually advance Oh, I had to reload, of course. And uh, proc yourself a couple more orbs. If, oh my god, I did a bad job there, but. So now I'm gonna proc Radiant, and then get Bait and Switch going again. Of course he moved. This was a pretty ugly damage phase, to be honest, but it is what it is. So we're gonna proc Radiant again here, and I, oh, fuck off, man, fuck off ads in this game sometimes. So now we've got Radiant, one of my teammates put on her Vitalizing Blast, and easy. But look at my damage. Freaking 4.3 million. So it is well worth it. So I would have done 22% less damage if I didn't have those surges for the whole time. Uh, so here was the damage loadout. <clears throat> so we had the Strand Surge, and then I have a strand loader for the GL. So I've got Envious Assassin, but you can only get so much leading up to damage. And then I still had Arc Siphon because I didn't showcase it well there. But when I'm taking out those Hobgoblins, uh, if I get a double kill, I would have procced another orb, but it didn't really matter. But like I said, you can see you get way more damage by doing that. And it's very, very simple. All it requires is two of these preset loadouts. And on something like this Prophecy boss, you have that time where you're falling down through the quicksand, so there's lots of setup time. But I've solo flawless every dungeon this season, and I did this for all the dungeons. Well, all the dungeons where it matters, like uh, Shattered Throne is so easy now, it, I wasn't optimized. But on the harder ones, like Ghost of the Deep, I did this, and it is so worth it, and you just saw how simple it is to do. All you have to do is swap right before DPS, just get to kind of a safe space, make sure no ads are killing you, do your swap, and then after DPS, say we had to go to a second phase, I would have swapped back to that, 
and I have strand scav on and I should have heavy ammo finder. Yep. So I have heavy ammo finder on. All right. So now is the other most important thing. So I've made another loadout here that looks identical. Like these two look identical, right? But I want to show you something. So this is Ember of Searing, Ember of Torches, Ember of Mercy, Empyrean, and Singeing. This one has all the same ones, but I switched Searing and Torches. Watch closely. See, Torches, Searing, Mercy, Empyrean, Singeing. So they're not quite in the same order. So when you go to loadout swap to this one, you are going to lose all your abilities. But first, I want to show you something else. So what I've done on this one is I changed, look, I changed my... Um, dodge, knife, and grenade. So you can see I have full charges. I go here, I lose all my charges, but I keep my super. So keep that in mind. So now we're gonna go rally. Hold on, let me swap back to the other nearly identical loadout. See, we lose our abilities again. So now we rally the flag. Just gonna get away from these stupid drags. So now, again, all the fragments are the same. All the fragments are the same. I just have torches here on the other one and searing here. That's all that's different. So watch what happens. Here, let me prove. Got all my abilities. Swap. Everything gone. Lose super, lose everything. So that's kind of the most important part of this is to make sure these are all in the same order. So now if I go, what do I need here? Searing, that's over here. So now if I do that and then I put on torches, now it's back to normal. Um, you can see I'm starting to get a little bit of energy. So now that they're the same, uh, when I go to swap, I shouldn't lose anything. See? And I kept that little bit of super energy and the ability energy that I had gotten. So when you're making these, make sure that your loadouts are exactly the same order for your fragments and obviously your aspects. But yeah, if anything is different, you're just going to lose it. Um, like if I had blade barrage on, you know, anything. So that is super important to know. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, then a like and subscription would be greatly appreciated. Like I said, I can't stress enough how strong this is and how easy it is to do when, when you just know where it is and can quickly swap right before damage. Like I said, pretty much every dungeon boss in this game, or raid boss for that matter, has a setup. Like Crota on day one, we would hide behind the wall, everybody would get ready with their, like we'd have our sword bearers and everything, and we'd hide behind that wall, bait Crota over, and in that time, everyone would swap to DPS loadout. Then we run out, smack the boss. Um, like I said, 22% extra damage if you have triple surges, whatever, right? Uh, but that's how you do it. Like I said, you got to make sure your fragments are good. I have to stress that. So anyways, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care.